what is a galaxy? What is a part of a galaxy? I love that question. So the galaxy is um, a huge assembly of stars. The Milky Way contains something like 200 to 400 billion stars. And most of the material and the stars are in the disk. And when we look at the night sky, uh, what we see as the Milky Way band on the sky, that is actually the the inner the next inner spiral arm, because we actually live in a spiral disk galaxy, so the Milky Way is a spiral disk galaxy, um, and we're looking, um, actually it depends a little bit, in the northern hemisphere, we're looking out of the galaxy, <laughs> so we're seeing the next outer spiral mm -hmm. arm, and as you can imagine, there's only dark space behind that, so... Mm -hmm. We don't see it all that nice on the sky, but if you travel to south, uh, to the southern hemisphere, mm -hmm. let's say South America, you see the Milky Way and it looks so different on the sky because that's the next inner spiral arm and that's mm -hmm. backlit by the galactic center. Mm -hmm. The galactic center is is a very big, puffy, you know, region of gas. There's a lot of star formation. That's, that the, the galactic party is happening there. So it's very bright and it, it makes for this very beautiful Milky Way on the night sky that we see. So actually, if you if you ever get the chance to experience that, I encourage you to almost like close your eyes while seeing this and imagining that you're sitting in this kind of disc, in this pancake, and you're just kind of looking right into it. And you can you can really feel that we're in this, 2D disc, and then you can imagine that there's a top and a bottom, and that that we're really part of the galaxy. You can really experience that. We're, we're just not not just lost in space somewhere, but we're really a part of it. And you know, knowing a little bit about the structure of the Milky Way really helps. Do you feel small when you think about that? When you look on that spiral <laughs> on the inside of the Milky Way, and then you look out to the outside, like, how are we supposed to feel? I, I don't know. I, I I don't feel small necessarily. I feel in awe and I feel I'm a part of it because I can really feel that I'm a part of it. Um, I think for many people, they think like, oh, there's just the planet and then there's nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's almost a little bit sad, but it, it, that's really not the case, right? Because there's there's so much more, and I really like to imagine. Wow, I'm I'm sitting in this big galactic merry-go-round, and we're going around the center, and I can see the center mm -hmm. above me, right? And I can almost feel like we're going going there. <laughs> um, of course, we can't really feel that, um, but the sun does circle the galactic center. But there's a kind of sadness to like looking pictures of a nice vacation place. All we get is that light, an old light. Is, do you feel like sad that we don't get to travel or you and I will not get to travel there and maybe humans will never get to travel there? Yeah, I always wanted to travel into space and see the earth and other things from, from up there. There's, there's certainly that. But I don't know. It's it's also okay to just be at our vantage point and, and see it mm -hmm. from from here. With the sensors, with the telescopes that we have and explore the possibility. Yeah.